about someone by the name of David Craig. He thinks that um, California teachers, nurses, firefighters, cops, university employees, and other public sector workers don't need representation. He thinks that you guys are making too much. And that your benefits are just too much. Well, let me just tell you a little thing about UC workers, particularly the service workers. They make $13 an hour. $13 an hour. And 96% of those workers have to survive by getting onto some kind of a public program. Is that right? No! Well, David Crane thinks that it is right. What a jerk. He's out of his mind. And David Crane wants to abolish all of the unions, the associations that represents the workers of the state of California. And we are not going to allow that to happen. I will tell you that when he gets his way, and we will fight, and we will fight to make sure he doesn't get his way, but if he gets his way, all of the workers, particularly the service workers, are going to end up like my mother used to be, working in a sweatshop, working for pittance, and still figuring out how to raise a family. And we're not going to allow that to happen. So let me just say something about David Crane. He's got this little thing that he wants, which is he wants to be confirmed as a UC Regents. And our message to David Crane is that David Crane, you are fired. We are going to bring that nomination up and we are going to grill that guy. And before you know it, he's going to be toasted. Be toasted like you can't believe. The San Francisco way of toasting. Someone who's going to be a lot more elegant than I and a lot smarter than I is Fiona Ma. She's going to put all the nice words together. But I grew up in Chinatown and I know what toasted means. <laughs> But Fiona is going to put all that nice work and she's going to be absolutely creative. Fiona Ma! Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. And first off, I want to thank Senator Lee Lin Yi for his leadership uh, in this area. He's always willing to stand up and do the right thing, and that's why being in the Senate is so important, because people need to be confirmed in the Senate. And I have worked closely with David Crane. When I first got elected to the Assembly, I tried to keep high-speed rail going. And David Crane was an appointee on the High-Speed Rail Commission. And you know, he did everything he could to defund the High-Speed Rail Authority, contract out the over 100,000 potential construction jobs that this project would create. No way! And he did what he could to deny the voters the right to vote for the high-speed rail initiative on the ballot. That's the kind of person David Crane is. He does not, he does not have motives that are pure. And talking about pure motives, another person who doesn't have pure motives our former governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Over his term, he did nothing to help working people, seniors, the disabled, and our young people. And what he did right before he left, he did some pretty despicable things. And one of this was appointing David Crane at the last minute, because he knew the kind of person that he would be on the UC Regents. And Brothers and sisters, I am a SAG member, and as your brother and sister, we know that united, the unions cannot be defeated. We stand up for the working people, for what's right, and I want to thank Senator Leland Yi for leading us in this fight. Yeah. To make sure that 
David Crane sees the pink slip. Thank you. Next speaker is the leader of the labor movement in City and County of San Francisco, Tim Paulson. So who's got the power? We got the power! And what kind of power? We got the power! And who's got the power? We got the power! What kind of power? We got the power! I want to thank Senator Leland Yee for putting up this press conference today, and I want to thank so many of you who came out on your lunch hour for this important event. I want to say one thing. This may be attack on the public sector, but we have private sector workers here, we have service workers here, we have building and construction trades unions here. Yeah. The entire yeah. breadth of the San Francisco and California labor movement is here. We are not going to stop until Mr. Crane gets gone. We are not going to stop moving until they win in Wisconsin. We are going to stay on the street until collective bargaining is preserved and no concessions. Thank you very much. Next speaker is Alan Clark, who's the president of the California School Employee Association. Thank you, Senator. I work with school custodians, bus drivers, food service workers, and clerical people. The state of California. The infrastructure that helps teachers teach and students learn. David Crane, you should walk a day in our shoes. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. We aren't high paid workers. In fact, many of my co workers have to sign their paycheck over to pay for their health care. More than 170,000 of the people I represent have taken furlough days to help with custom schools over the past three years to help deal with the recession in this state. Now, Mr. Crane thinks we should give up collective bargaining. No way. No way. David Crane, you should be ashamed for attacking hardworking people in this state and trying to destroy our voice at work. Stripping away our ability to collect the bargain would push hundreds of thousands of school workers over low wage, over the low wage to become public workers in poverty. I guess that's okay, Mr. Crane, though apparently when you were working for Governor Schwarzenegger, you're really working now for Governor Scott Walker in Wisconsin. Yeah. 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 Because just like Governor Walker's agenda in Wisconsin, your agenda in California is to destroy public employee unions and all unions. And just like Governor Walker, Mr. Crane cares nothing about the facts or the willingness of public employees to do our part to address the budget shortfalls. This has become a political fight, pure and simple. It's about demonizing public employees and destroying any organized opposition to his agenda. But before us, this is not just a fight to save collective bargaining. It's a fight to save the middle class. If David Crane and Governor Walker get their way and destroy what's left of America's dreams, there will be no organized force left to fight in America for working men and women. David Crane's vocal opposition to collective bargaining, the very laws that the UC system operates under for employer-employer relations, calls into question his ability to make unbiased decisions as a UC region. Right on. By attacking public employees and calling for the end of collective bargaining, David Crane has proven once again that he is unfit to serve as a regent of the University of California. Right. We join the Senator and others here today to call on the Senate to reject David Crane's appointment as a regent and fire him! Yeah. 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 Next speaker is Randy Johnson, ASB 32. Yeah. Everybody, I not as polished as the last speakers. Uh, my name is Randy Johnson. I am. Uh, I'm sorry. My name is Randy Johnson, and I am a um, CT MRI technologist here at UCSF. And I can tell you right now, 
through collective bargaining, when I, I've been in the UC system for 18 years, I came up to San Francisco 14 years ago, through, um, through collective bargaining, we went from being 20% below market wage to normal, to being just barely below market wage. We're still there. I want to say also, um, this is about patient care. If, you want to, if we want our patients to be cared well, we need to have good employees. We need employees that stay around so we have cohesive care for the patients. We work as a team at UCLA. Yes, we do! And that's from, it's from housekeeping to the greatest doctors that we have here. There's a reason we're number seven in the country, and we're part of that. Yeah. And that's these people out here. And I'm going to tell you, I'm here on my lunch break. I want to be very clear. Service workers do work, and we work hard or harder than the public, and we pay taxes. Yeah. And, and, um, and I don't know anybody that's getting rich from retirement here. And, uh, you know, of course, Udoff is getting it, you know. I would like to have his, his, his benefit, his retirement, 350000 a year after only working seven years. Um, I can tell you from across the state, we still have many, many people in poverty that works for UC. Uh, not all of us, but many, many. A lot of our health care, uh, the service workers in the housekeeping and the cafeterias, and like especially in Southern California, have to work three jobs to survive. You can't live in this state making $13 an hour. And, and I can tell you, nobody is getting rich here. Uh, our, our, our patients are absolutely the most important to us. They want, they, UC wants to cut staff, we fight that, because if we cut staff, this brings danger to our patients. Um, this is, you know, this is not just a job, this is a hospital, and we take care of people, and we even take care of people like David Crane. Yeah. And, and so, I'm sure if he was sick, this would be the hospital he'd come to, and I'd have to be nice. Um, now, here I can tell him to go to hell. Speaker is uh, Bob Samuels, the president of the University Council, AFT. Woo! Yeah. Okay, so how many people here are employees of the UC system? Yeah. Um, they asked David Crane if he said getting rid of collective bargaining would affect the UC employees, and he said no because they're not public employees. He doesn't even know that the, that we actually are public employees, okay? So this is the person that they want to be the next region. What an idiot! You know, David Crane made his money, you know, on Wall Street, right? Investments. And he was the uh, manager of all of Schwarzenegger's investments when Schwarz Schwarzenegger was governor. And Schwarzenegger's payback, the last day or last days, was to give him his position on the regions, okay? And so the people who've gotten this, into this financial mess are once again trying to control us. Um, the UC lost $23 billion over a two-year period through its investments. And someone like David Crane, his reaction to this is to try to cut our pensions, to cut our salaries, to cut our benefits, and to lay off workers. And so we have to do everything we can to prevent him from becoming a regent. So I ask all of you to email, call, um, Daryl Steinberg's office on Monday, because I'm told he's a key player in this. He's going to be one of the people who's going to be managing the appointment process, and they're going to be voting very soon. So call Daryl Steinberg, tell him that you don't support this. Thank you. Right. Yeah.